about you. I like it. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. I expect I am your first. I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Better is an opinion, but mine is certainly more economical, disciplined, dignified. Many a good warrior savors the scent of blood in the air. There's no shame in a capricious murder now and again. Too many, though. And you waste energy and dull your weapon. My suggestion. Attack with purpose and savor your kills. And if the urge proves too much... Well... I'm sure we can find you a goblin or two to carve up. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point. I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Because I do not intend to let this happen. Not to me, and if you stick with me, not to you. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Ceramorphosis takes all of you. Mind, body, soul. An ordinary tadpole would eat at your memories until they were lost to the void. But our tadpoles are far from ordinary. I wonder if another factor's in play. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. I understand why you ask, but memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. There may be other causes. We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? We go our separate ways, of course. What else? The ties that bind would be well and truly severed. If you must know, Baldur's Gate. And before you ask, no. I'm not telling you what I'm doing there, or who I'm meeting, or anything else. You pry too much. Any further and you'll regret it. Understand? You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly. But all things considered, you'll do. And I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. Perhaps I'll be able to return the favor at some point. So that's to say you'd like to pry a little. You do seem like the type, I must say. Inquisitive, looking for connection. It's every man for himself, and you're looking to make friends. Admirable, I suppose. Or desperate. I'm not quite sure. 
Oh, I think you'll find that I am. Knowing what makes people tick is a skill of mine. If you want something from a person, you need to know when and where to squeeze. And I've revealed all I'm willing to, at least for now. Now I suggest you let matters rest, or else we'd better part ways. Fine. What's on your mind? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but that's keeping in mind. You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly, but all things considered. And I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. You're not versed in magic, are you? Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. What's on your mind? Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? drop like a portcullis. Out! That was uncalled for. Nothing. What you saw was merely mental disorientation brought about by your intrusion. Please don't try that again unless I invite you to. We all have those from time to time. I once wished a most impure demise on a colleague of mine who bore the last remaining copy of Etheril's Enchiridion of Enchanting Easements. It's a first edition, too. As regards to your own morbid little fantasies, I'm sure they're nothing to worry about, so long as they remain fantasies. Memory loss isn't usually a symptom of ceramorphosis. If it is, They've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. Then again, our case isn't exactly usual. Perhaps whatever's causing our tadpoles to remain in stasis has also affected your mind. If ceramorphosis takes place, all trace of your former self will be subsumed into the Mind Flayer's hive. So, to still be here, if I might forgetful, still a win in my book. Go to hell. Ha! <laughs> You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Merely contemplating. Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract.
Point well made. I see. I'll wake you bright and early. We'll need to find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Your magician seems dour tonight. Must not relish the idea of sprouting tentacles. Understandable. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. I'll be awake a while yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. You know, if you want to spend time with me, you only have to say so. But suit yourself. I'm sure we'll drift off at some point. <laughs> 